Hey guys, what's up? It's Sam here to do another video. This time I'd like to show you guys how to manually flash the factory images for your Nexus device. If you're like me and you don't like to wait for updates, you want to get them as soon as they come out, you're really impatient and just can't wait for the over-the-air updates, then you can manually flash them yourself. They do have toolkits that can do this for you but sometimes I can mess up the device so it's always good to know how to do it manually yourself just in case. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is go on the Google website for the factory images and this is developers.google.com Now for your particular device all you need to do is just scroll down and look for it down here they have the 6P, the 5X, all the way down to the Galaxy Nexus. Now my device is the 6P and the code name for that is Angler. So we're going to download the latest link which is normally the last one. So just click the link right here and it will download. Now after you've downloaded the file you're going to want to extract it. So do that and then open it up also extract the image file right here as well then if you have a Windows computer click on shift and then right click press open command window next you want to make sure that the computer is recognizing your phone so type in ADB devices you should see a serial number there with the word devices. Next we're going to go into the, the bootloader. Type in ADB reboot bootloader. Your phone should be like this. Now let's type in fastboot devices just to make sure that the fastboot mode is working also. You should see a serial number there again along with the word fast boot. Then you're ready to flash. This part is really simple if you follow the instructions. I normally just write it down right here so I don't forget any step. I'll leave that in the link below. So the first step you're going to want to do is flash the bootloader. Now all you have to do is type in fast boot, flash, bootloader, and you find the bootloader. Uh, you can click on B and then use tab to search for it in the particular folder. So mine is bootloader angler angler 02.45.img. You press enter. And it's done. The next thing you want to do is to reboot the bootloader again. So fast boot reboot dash bootloader. And once it's back up again, you're gonna flash the radio. Same as before, fast boot, flash radio, space radio. You press tab to find the radio file. For me, it's radio dash angler dash angler dash zero two dot five o dot img. Click on enter, and it's gonna flash the radio. It's done. We're going to reboot the bootloader one more time. Fast boot, reboot dash bootloader. The next thing we're going to do is flash the system image, the boot image, and the recovery image. So, fast boot, flash, system space and you look for the system file again. Flashing the system takes the longest so you can just sit down and wait. It'll do its thing. Also with this particular method it doesn't erase your internal storage of the phone so everything will still be there just as it was before. Two thousand years later.
Day three. Day four. A few moments later. One eternity later. Now once that's done, you're also gonna wanna flash the vendor image. So fast boot flash vendor space vendor. This will also take a little bit of time as well. We're gonna flash the boot image. Same as before, fast boot, flash, boot, space, boot, image. Click enter. Oh wait, fast boot, flash, Then we're going to flash the recovery, fast boot, flash, recovery, then we're going to wipe the cache, fast boot, format cache, then we're pretty much done, we're going to reboot the device, fast boot, reboot, And it's gonna come up as usual. Anytime you unlock the bootloader, it's gonna show this before it starts up. And you also see the unlocked icon. This might take a while, so be patient. Once it finished boots up, there you go. See, there's nothing that is erased. It's just like it was before. So we're gonna see if we have the latest. This was just a security update. So you're supposed to see the security patch for January. And there it is. So this is how you pretty much update your phone if you want to just get the latest update or for example if you have hard bricked or soft bricked your device this is how you manually put the factory image back on and you get it up and running for your nexus device thanks for watching guys see you in the next one